Yesterday, the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes, was also the annual World Day of the Sick, a day to pray for those who carry the cross of illness and for those who care for them. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, the U.S. Director of the Apostleship of Prayer, the Pope's worldwide prayer network, and I'd like to share with you part of Pope Francis' message for the occasion. He said, The wedding feast of Cana is an image of the church. At the center, there is Jesus, who in his mercy performs a sign. He could have made the wine appear directly in the jars, but he wants to rely upon human cooperation, and so he asks the servants to fill them with water. How wonderful and pleasing to God it is to be servants of others. This, more than anything else, makes us like Jesus, who did not come to be served, but to serve. These unnamed people in the gospel teach us a great deal. Not only do they obey, but they obey generously. They fill the jars to the brim. Let us ask Jesus in his mercy to grant to all of us this same readiness to be of service to those in need. At times this service can be tiring and burdensome. Yet we are certain that the Lord will surely turn our human efforts into something divine. We too can be hands, arms, and hearts which help God to perform his miracles so often hidden. We too, whether healthy or sick, can offer up our toil and sufferings like the water which filled the jars at the wedding feast of Cana and was turned into the finest wine. If we can learn to obey the words of Mary who says, do whatever he tells you, Jesus will change the water of our lives into precious wine.